And then there was one. There's one category left, and today we are doing the defense draft. So I am going to randomize the team here while looking at you. And let me stop right about... I'm going to let this one go for a while. It's a really random... Now! We just had them recently. I'm almost sure of it. All right, I have no idea why I thought that. Maybe I've used them for something recently that I can't remember, but it wasn't in any of the drafts, so... Uh, yeah, we're going to be Smashville, owner mode off, fantasy draft on. And we're going to not let the head coach edit our lines, you jabroni. Fog of War off, player morale off. And that's about it for that. And then rules and settings, got to turn off injuries, notifications and stuff like that. Injuries, boom, see you later. And on top of that, we have the notifications here. Waiver and that, stars only. Yep. Okay, should be good. Should be good to go. We're going to get pick 12. I think I said that last time, but that's what I'm going with. Let's see where we land. No way. Come on. You can't make this up. Time to start the draft. We got to start by the defensive category here. Oh, McCarr would have been sick to have. Okay, let's go. And we're going to have some good players here, so we're not really going to have to be too upset. That's for sure. Um, we probably have a... How many players have five-star defense? Like, where do we have down till... Wow, we have a lot to pick from. Okay, so basically from Sebastian Aho and up. I am tempted to take Sebastian Aho. He is so sick. Huberto as well. Hmm. This got interesting. This got real interesting. Wow, Barkov's still there too. Come on. Why is there so many good players available? Just because Aho's on my fantasy team and he's tearing it up, I'm going to take him. Yeah, that's my logic behind it. I know it's not good logic. Whatever. What's done is done. Pretty good song from NHL 07? No, 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 not 07. It's like NHL 13 or something, I believe. Final verdict before I look it up, I'm going to say NHL 09. Because I'm starting to remember... Why I know that song, because I think it's from Be A Pro, but I'm going to look it up now. So technically, it's just called Done Is Done, but it was in NHL 09. Okay, so I have from Doughty and up, who do we take? Oh, man. We already have... We already have a good centerman, and that's pretty much all that's available here. So I'm going to take Couturier and have a second centerman. Hopefully, one of them won't be too TO'd playing on the wing. So if I defense again, we have <laughs> these two. So, I'm probably going to have to take both of them. Mm, let's take a goalie. Do you think they'll go soon? They might. But, let's sort by this. Markstrom. Mm-hmm. Lots of good goalies here. I don't know who to take. I want to take someone who isn't, like, super old. I mean, it's not like that's not old. But it's old in hockey terms, kind of. Or at least getting up there. I want to take a young goalie. I'm going to take Thatcher. All right, one of them went. Pelic is the only one left, so I'll take him for now. There you go. Welcome to the team. And now we are down to four and a half star already. So let's go to defense again. And, oh, man. Okay, it's only ten Evan up already. That went quick. Cop it. Like, where's all the, the wingers at? <laughs> Where are the wingers? Wow. Well, we are in a predicament here. I'm going to take Lowry. I'm not going to take Lowry. I'm going to take Cop. Yeah, let's do that. Holy crap. Okay, apparently we're going to have trouble getting wingers. Wingers are not good at defense. It's from Lowry up. So we got these guys here. I'll take... I'll take Tanev. And then if Lowry's still there, I'll take him. I don't think the other guys are going. And then I'm probably going to take a backup goalie before I take those guys. So, yeah, Lowry's still here. I'll grab him. Another center. And now I'm going to take a backup goalie. And then we'll come back. Uh, let's just make sure that one of them is still there. They're going to be for sure. Yeah, okay. Giordano's still there. So, goalie time. Let's take a backup and sort by overall. On a good contract, Jim Reimer. He didn't let me down last time. He didn't do it. Jimbo definitely played up to his potential. And he's doing. he was doing well for me in fantasy. He's on IR at this point in time. I'm taking him. I don't care. I don't care. Stop it. I don't care. Oh, Giordano's actually gone. So we're down to four stars here. And it looks like we have a lot of those. Yeah, there is <laughs> quite a few options. So Yanni, Gord, and up. Show me the wingers. All right, we got Kalorin, which is nice. Perron as well. Love to see it. So two good wingers there. 
And we got Cam Atkinson as well. JT Comfer. All right, so we definitely got to start picking up some wingers here. And I am going to start it off with one of these two. We'll start it off with Killer. And then maybe I'll go to, uh, I was about to say Panarin. I wish he was still here. Perron. Sort by defense again. And let's see what we have. Good overall wingers. Obviously, there's going to be some good defensemen. That's a gimme. Scott Lawton has actually gotten an overall boost there, too. He wouldn't be a bad pickup. But we do already have four centers. And where... He might be gone, actually. Where do we have till? Yeah, he's probably gone. Crap, that sucks. Let's take Marcus Foligno, just because we can. How many defense do we have? We only have two, so I should probably actually start thinking about defense sooner or later here as well. Let's try to find... Actually, let me sort by defense. Let's grab our second pair right now, just in a row. Who should we get? And how many players can we pick from is the real question. So the whole first page, and... Wow, there's a lot of just defense alone with four star. So Clef Bomb here, 82. We've got a couple 83s. And is that as good as it? We got 84 Martinez. So I'm going to take the 84. And we'll probably get an 83 or 82 next. I'll just take another defenseman here. Go by this category. Okay. So let's see if we can get someone on a decent contract. Chara is on a very good contract, but. He is definitely not a spring chicken. Okay. Edler, 3.5 million. Which hand is he? Shoots the left. Eric Johnson shoots right. 6 million, though. Holy. Hmm. All right. We're going to have to make some other cap. <laughs> some other cap friendly picks here. So for forwards, we have up till Belmar. And that is who we can take from. I'm definitely not taking that $10 million contract. I'll tell you that for free. That $6 million one's pretty bad, too. I'll take Comfer for now. He seems like a good player. We also don't have a single right winger yet, so he is our first, which is a little bit scary. Start by defense, or sorry, the defensive category again. Forwards. Okay, so we have up till Belmar. Once again, it's centers. Hmm... Who should we take? Honestly, I'm going to go with Belmar. I'm not going to lie. I'm going to pick our final defensive pair because those forwards are not going anywhere. And then, yeah, we'll just kind of pick up where we left off. But try to at least get a very solid defensive core. As if we even need it. Our goalie is going to be very good as well. Both of our goalies. Okay, we'll take Edler. He's on the... Le well, not the least amount, but one of the least amounts there. 3.5. How much cap do we have left? 17? We're already down to 17? And we have to pick four more forwards and another defenseman. Oh, okay. We might have to take Chara. <laughs> we might not have a choice. Yeah, I'm just going to do it. Actually, we're probably going to go over the cap and not really be able to do much about it because, like, we, we're almost guaranteed going to have to take these two. I mean, I'll grab these guys first, I guess, because they are a little bit more on the cap-friendly side, so I'll try to avoid it if possible, but... It's not looking like that's going to be very possible. Defense again. Yep, they're all still there. I'll take Sezikis. There you go. Another center. We're going to have centers galore. Let's go to defense again. You definitely can't say that our team is weak up the middle. Because all we have is centers. Okay, Backland. There you go. And how many players do we need now? We have seven centers, so we're three over there. Do we only need one more? I think we only need one more player. And it's going to be Jordan Stull, so we are going to be within the cap. I would really love to take Achari, as we have one right winger currently. But I can't do that. So it's going to have to be Stull. Yeah, there's our last pick of the draft. Let's go ahead and sim the entire draft from here on out. And try to put this team together. I'm going to take a picture again because I don't trust myself to forget. Or I don't trust myself to remember all the players we just grabbed. So take a screenshot of that real quick. They're probably going to... Well, will they even? We might just have a lot of centers in the lineup. Because it doesn't look like they took anyone who would replace our players. We actually get a plus two on the first line. That is huge. If I move Felino down, then we get that. So I'm sorry, Felino. I really don't want you there, but... 
I don't have a whole lot of options. Okay, you could trade a first line, first line, and then a third line, but he gets the plus two. So that's elite. Yeah, I don't think there's going to be a whole lot we can do here. So I'm just going to leave that as is. So we got Cop, Kalorn, and Backlin as our second line there. That's unfortunate. You know what? What if I try to mix it up this way then? I could do that. Or what if I throw a stall in the middle? Bring up Glendening. Stall can play fourth line. Yeah, that'll work. That'll work. I want Felino up there. Okay. So we got 2,000 <laughs> as our offensive chemistry. On defense, we're not getting much of anything going here. Oh, wow. Okay, I'm doing that for sure. Chara gets that good chemistry, apparently. I really want this to work. It's not gonna, though. Okay, we'll do that. Uh, one, one, two. Yep, right-handed, left-handed, left-handed, right-handed. And two lefties on the first pair, but whatever. Let's go to our goalies. We got Demko and Jim. Yep, looks good. I'm gonna double check to make sure this is everyone I drafted, though. I'm just trying to look at the players that like could possibly. Yeah, so Sherwood's like the only one who's like a decent overall who might get put in the lineup, but it doesn't look like he's there. And then Lambos is all the way down to 66 overall, so we should be good. I think we're good. All right, you heard it here first. We make the playoffs with 43 wins, and Sebastian Aho gets 78 points. Yes, sir. Sabres fired their coach already. Wow. That didn't take very long. We're off to a pretty good start here, but that does not mean anything. We could come crashing back down any second now, so I'm not buying it. You're not going to get my hopes up, NHL. You've done it too many times. Okay, we're pretty far into the season now, and we're still doing solid. So this is actually looking like centers are OP, apparently. Just build your whole team of centers, and you're going to be just fine. I mean, Demko is probably doing great as well. We have a great backup, and our defense is very solid. So that certainly helps out the whole equation, but... Yeah, we are doing very well here. Second in the division right now. Avalanche are killing it. Let's keep our current trading block. And enter the deadline to see whom is available. Bergeron. He has to have five star. There's no way. But I'm going to keep our team running. When we're doing this good, there's no point of change. I didn't give you permission to do that. Why'd you do that? Washington gets Bergeron and Burns for Perfetti and a first. Wow, that's a big trade. And then Shen, Riley, and a third for a first, and Ian Scott. Interesting one. Let's keep it going here. Nice. Two wins right off the deadline. Love to see it. AHL season complete. We didn't make the playoffs down there. That's all right. I was not planning on it. Okay, so we are not winning the President's Trophy. The Avalanche absolutely slayed the season, but we made it in in convincing fashion. It wasn't like we just barely crept in so yeah we almost had 50 wins that is shocking to me and did the colorado avalanche win the oh, 76 from kachuri did they win the president's trophy or not nah with 117 they did so we finished third in the league wow very solid but colorado just did a little bit better they didn't even get to 20 losses okay well let's see actually i'll just kind of go back and check the entire league first whoops Entire league. Scroll down. Was it top 16? No. 17. The Ottawa Senators got shafted. Okay. So let's check out the lineup of Colorado here, shall we? View lines. It's got to be here somewhere. There it is. Colorado. Where are you hiding at? There you are. All right. Duclair, Shifley, Debrinkat. It's a good first line. Sprong, Johansson, JVR. Okay, either they have a really good defensive core and a goalie, or I'm missing something here. Uh, not really. Okay, they had Carey Price, but like, holy, he only had a 9.03, he didn't even do that good. Oh, that's playoffs, never mind. Whoops. Let's check the season. Okay, he had a 9.15, he did do very good. Anyway, back to the stats here. So yeah, Couturier did the best for us with 76. Sebastian was right there with 75. Cop put up 65, he had a great year. Kalorn put up 61. I think he actually dropped an overall. What the heck? He put up 61 points and drops. Uh, JT Confer put up 54. 50 from Felino. And wow, those guys are like really plus too. Plus 33 from Couturier. That is bonkers. We got 33 from Tanev as well. 
35 from Pelic. Legend. Let's go to the goaltenders. A 933 and a 199 from Thatcher. Holy. James Reimer with a 911 and 272. But yeah, the goalies played outstanding for the Smashville Predators in this simulation. That is unheard of. Let's check the entire league. We got a 921 from Kemper. And you can see Demko down there. He has the best save percentage, 933. But yeah, Kemper is up there for save percentage. And did he also get the most wins? That's not what I wanted to do. Please allow me to switch the category. Uh, he did, 47. Carey Price with 44. You see what I see with 40. Jack Campbell got 38. Okay, let's go to the skaters now. So we have Zuccarello with 108. Uh, Zuccarello with 108. This guy just won the Art Ross. Let's go, Zook. Wow, okay, that's a first. Shifley with 106. Ovi, 101, and 58 goals. He probably has the Rocket Richard again. Marner, 100, but was a dash 11. Okay, let's check. Does he have it? Yeah, it's not even close. I also want to check defensemen. We got Hughes with 64. McCarr, 63. Carlson with 62. And uh, Petrangelo was a plus 32 and put up 60, so it's good for him. All right, let's do this. Time to get deleted in the first round. That's usually how it goes, right? Minnesota Wild here. 41 wins on the year. Can't wait till you rinse us in the first. Boom. Here we go. Okay, we're off to a decent start. And... Oh, game seven. Yeah. Uh-huh. Got my hopes up again. And was absolutely crushed. Who's going to win the Stanley Cup? It's going to be the Golden Knights. That was Darcy Kemper's team, right? Or maybe? So the Golden Knights had Ovi and Petrangelo, Provorov. They had Jimmy Superstar as well. Holy. Yeah, they have a real good team here. I understand. It kind of falls off real quick, but they still have a very solid team nonetheless. And Zuccarello. Yeah, there's your guy. Okay. Um, nope, we wanted to go to goalies. They've got, yeah, Kemper and then Subban. Interesting. Andrew Kopp actually had the most playoff points for us. He put up 7-7. Seven and seven. And let's check the player stats. Who put up the most in the entire playoffs? Can I go to the entire league? I sure can. Entire league. 33 from Zuccarello. He led the playoffs as well. And he's still 85? Yeah, right. Kyle Connor with 32. Sagan. And then Ovi's up there as well. Okay. So let's check the awards. We've got the Knights. Stanley Cup, as we saw. Colorado with the Presidents, as we saw. And then Tampa. And the Golden Knights was the final. Zuccarello with the Art Ross and the Hart. Petrangelo with the Norris. So far, the Knights just cleaning up. Zuccarello with the Lady Bing, Raymond with the Calder, Zuccarello with the Con Smythe, Demko with the Vesna. there we go, and the Jennings, let's go, what a year from him, Travis Hamannick with the Masterton, Brennan with the Jack Adams, O'Reilly gets the Selkie, Zuccarello with the Lindsay, and then Ovi with the Rocket Richard, yeah, the Golden Knights just cleaned up house, holy, what a year for them, okay, well, London on the playoff tree, that is the last stat category, defense there, so, Montreal swept the Panthers there in round one. Yeah, there you go. That's it. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I'll see you soon.